Hello everyone. I just thought I'd put a quick update out. I know a lot of you follow me. Uh, this is uh, Saturday and the days are running together but it is December 12th and I have an auction tonight with my good friend Loot Raider and uh, she will be selling homemade jewelry that her mom has made and it's very nice we will be on jewelry nurses channel 7 p.m. central I'll be there also and I will be selling some of my lower end items because it's the end of the year cannot guarantee shipping by Christmas so you might consider this my uh, since most of you who buy tonight <clears throat> will get your orders first part of January so uh, this is uh, I guess my black Friday sale for January which usually a lot of bargains happen first part of January so Having said that, 7 p.m. Central tonight, Saturday, December the 12th, on Jewelry Nurses Channel. What have I been doing? I like my books, especially when they have to do with my hometown, places I grew up. And this is about guerrilla warfare in Missouri. A lot of good quotes in here. I'll probably be doing an audio book review soon. And uh, this is all from my Odin Stomping Grounds. This is an original edition, which you all know I like that. And written back in the 50s, 1950s, for those who are watching 100 years from now. Because my channel will outlive this human body. But it talks about uh, Kansas, Free State, Missouri. Many times Missouri gets a bad rep. And the Union soldiers get a good one. But according to this book, uh, the Union caused their own troubles and basically upset Missouri residents and they're young men who were of that age they couldn't join the union because they were from Missouri but they had to sign oaths of allegiance to the union and then the union would come in and uh, steal mom and dad's uh, cows, chickens, salt, flour, sometimes even the women I know this to be true because it happened to my family even as late as uh, World War I in the 19-teens. Uh, feds just came in, took what they needed. And <clears throat> that's just the way it was. And it may be the way it is going to be. Doesn't look good for the first part of 2021. A lot of people unhappy with their neighbors, and uh, I'm mainly just a historian now that I've retired. I guess enjoy that. And of course, I've been playing with my microscope. <laughs> oh, it's so great. I've got a camera that's pretty good at this distance, and then I got a camera that's pretty good. Can look at this old penny, which a 1907 it's in almost perfect condition I can prove it because <laughs> of my microscope camera <laughs> so I will have plenty of fun things to do this Christmas holiday season uh, as most of you know on February 14th of 2014 my uh, dad died on Valentine's Day or he was unplugged 
uh, next February. It'll have been seven years, and I always do seven-year plans. So that will kick off my next seven years. I plan on, uh, so I guess it's my New Year's resolution. I plan on uh, making and selling only what I make next year. I will sell off my inventory. And um, so everyone be safe. I hope to see you tonight. If not, I'll see you on my YouTube, The Little Muddy Farm, Robert Jones. Signing off.